Hi, Mike Napoleon here with Super Speed Golf. I'm here with Dr. Tyler Standiford from Utah Valley University. And we're going to talk about something that I felt as a golf professional is one of the most important things to helping players get better at golf. And that's grip strength. Grip strength just affects so many different aspects of the swing, right Tyler? Yeah, it's a key part of the swing. It's a really a key part in that transition phase of the swing to help that golfer change the direction of that club head in an efficient and fast manner. Yeah, and I've always felt like it also helps people control the club better. More to come on that. We've got a bunch of different studies. One we're going to talk to you about today a little later, but a lot of cool stuff that goes with grip strength. Here's the thing. We used to test grip strength on our players at my golf academy all the time, and we saw that amateur players had much less grip strength on average, just the amount of force that their hands can produce, than our high-level PGA Tour players. We also tested long drive players, and those guys were way above that even. Now, golf coaches for a long, long time, I mean, back to the days of Ben Hogan, have always been telling players, you need to use a light amount of grip pressure on the club maybe about 50% of your maximum, you know, so that we're not death gripping the club and tensing up and causing a lot of bad things to happen in our ability to create good downswing loading and release patterns with the golf club. I want to see if this is, number one, true, and also if it's going to be possible for all players to do that. So when we start looking at grip strength, we like to measure static grip pressure or grip strength with something we call a dynamometer. Tyler, you wanna talk about that yeah. a little bit? I mean, this is just basically a handheld dynamometer. They're not crazy expensive. And this is the kind of tool that, you know, putting this into your facility, as Mike has talked about, to be able to test your player's grip strength. I mean, it's as simple as turning it on. Uh, this is a digital one. There's some that are kind of handheld with almost like a scale. You put it in their hands. We always set this to the narrowest kind of uh, setting that we can to more mimic what it's like to hold a golf club. And then we just test players after, you know, a nice warm-up to see how much grip strength they can produce. All right, well, let's, let's see what happens when you actually look at PGA Tour players. PGA Tour players statically can produce yeah. about 62 kilograms of grip pressure. And that's a lot, right? Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of good data uh, from a lot of people who are testing this on high-level players. And 62 kilograms is a lot of force that they're producing. You know, you go to long drive players, as Mike talked about, these long drive players are producing even more. I mean, these guys have incredible forearm strength, incredible grip strength. When you test them on something like this, they're up to about 80 kilograms of force that they can produce. And those really high numbers of grip strength allow these players to create really good downswing loading and lag patterns. It allows players to be able to still do that and control the club face and make that a consistent movement pattern. Now, if we look at this dynamically, and there's a few studies out there that have done that, when we take PGA Tour players, about how much grip strength are they actually using during their golf swing, and when is it really peaking out? Yeah, I mean, really, it ends up being, we look at it as a raw value in about the 30 to 35 kilogram range, which happens to be about 50% of their max capacity. Yeah, or just a little bit more than 50%. Yep. I think that's really cool. So, you know, golf coaches haven't been wrong for for you know, 100 years talking about how much grip pressure we should use. I think the key though comes in when we start to look at amateur players. Because what we're finding is that amateur players cannot produce the same amount of grip strength that a PGA Tour player can, especially not a long drive professional can. You know, we see an average there of only about 40 kilograms. So what does that mean? Well, you know, Tyler, if we look at this just from a raw physics standpoint, where do we have to get to before, you know, and there's a lot of variables here, types of grips and that, but I mean, where do we have to get to before, you know, the club might actually fly out into the fairway? Yeah, because that's what's really going to happen, right? You start swinging this club and your brain knows your goal is to hit the golf ball and to not have the golf club fly out of your hands. And so if I'm sitting at 40, 40 kilograms of pressure, I'm going to do a couple of things. One, I'm going to do some kind of funky things mechanically because I can't hold that. But then the second, I'm just going to scale back my speed a little bit so that golf club doesn't fly out of my hand. So, I, you know, at 40 kilograms, you might be saying, man, a golfer who's swinging over 100 miles per hour, you know, make it into trouble uh, because uh, they just don't have the grip strength to sustain those kind of speeds. Yeah, and I've, I've seen this practically as a golf coach for years. You know, you have a player that's producing good ground force numbers, that's sequencing well, 
And I mean, it just seems impossible. They just can't stop early releasing the club. They can't really control the face well down through impact. A lot of times this issue is just they're having to produce such a percentage of their maximum amount of grip strength in order to keep the club from flying out of their hands that they really just have lost the ability to really control it or really create downswing loading. You know, as a coach, I also, I think this is an epidemic in the world of women's golf. Also, as we get into our senior players, because, you know, that 40 kilogram number is mixing in, you know, women, seniors, men, a lot of different amateur players. I think if we looked at some of those populations alone, and we will, uh, I think we'd see even lower numbers to the point that we may be having a point where we're having issues that we can't overcome. Yeah, exactly. So this is a big deal. So, you know, at Super Speed Golf, we're all about trying to find everything we can do to help you hit the ball further, control the club better, and have more fun playing golf. You know, we know that training grip strength is hard. Training grip strength traditionally has been done by lifting really heavy things. I mean, that's how it's been done, right? You have a gym program, you're doing various types of Olympic lifts or deadlifts or, you know, carrying kettlebells around or dumbbells, whatever. You're gripping around a bar. And over time, when you're lifting those weights, your grip strength starts to improve. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that as well? Yeah, for sure. And this is what we see in, in kind of the strength and conditioning world. Uh, you know, people lift really heavy things. And guess what? When they lift heavy things, their grip strength gets stronger. The only problem is... You know, a lot of our golfers don't have either access to the gym. They're not taking the time to do these kind of things. And, and when they're in the gym, you know, maybe they're not doing some of those things like the deadlifts and the farmer's walks and the carries of these dumbbells to really enhance that grip. Yeah, strength. I mean, maybe a lot of people are just doing like machine type workouts where they're not really having to use their hands in that way. Well, at Super Speed Golf, we decided that we needed to come up with a training aid that was going to help golfers increase grip strength. And this is it. It's called the Super Speed Squeeze. It's a very simple device. It fits over the player's golf grip. So you can use this on your own golf clubs. You can use this on a Super Speed club. We recommend having a little bit more weight than the lighter weight clubs because we're going to do all kinds of, you know, as we do with all of our training aids, we're going to develop a very specific training protocol and drills for you to use with this to optimize those gains mm -hmm. in grip strength. Yeah. Now, the other thing that we do at Super Speed Golf is we love data and we love to test if these things actually work. So we built a pretty simple protocol for the Super Speed Squeeze. Mm -hmm. And Tyler, we brought players through four weeks of training. Is that correct? Yeah, it was about four weeks of training. And, and, and this is, again, really fun for me, right? Because Super Speed gives me this platform to actually put data behind the products to make sure they're working. And then we can revamp and look at things and say, did that work? And maybe how did it work? And why did it work? And so this is one where I was actually able to take you know, a handful of golfers through our protocols, four weeks of training with the super speed squeeze. And this was, you know, they did training. I encouraged them about three days a week, you know, 15 minutes each training. We want to make this something that golfers can do and will do because of the time commitment. And trust me, this is just the first of many studies that are going to be coming out from us on grip strength and the super speed squeeze. But we thought we'd share this initial data with you because we think it's really exciting. Yeah. So here's what we found. Yeah, so this is great. So, and what this product process looked like was golfers came into the lab, you know, we had the full simulator set up because, you know, grip strength we know has kind of a key tie-in to swing speed. And so I'd bring golfers in, I'd have them do the exact same warm-up, I would test their grip strength, uh, then I would actually get some baseline numbers from a driver to look at what their swing speeds were. I taught them the protocol, made sure they understand how it worked, you know, I text them throughout the process, encourage them to keep doing the training, brought them back in four weeks later and went through that exact same process to make sure I was consistent in my pre and post. And what I wanted to look at was, you know, not just how they, you know, generated grip strength and maybe some of the traditional positions, either hand down to the side or hand out right here. A lot of this protocol with the squeeze is them doing golf swings, golf posture holds. And so I wanted to really understand what happens to the golfer for grip strength in these golf posture positions. And so you can see the data here, in just four weeks, they were able to increase their grip strength in the non-dominant, dominant hand, or the lead hand and trail hand, you know, by somewhere between five to seven percent, depending upon what we're looking at and the position that they're looking at. These were great numbers. Some of these individuals were seniors. There were women in the study. You know, there were our average, you know, male golfer who actually had gym-type strength training programs, where you might say, hey, they're probably not getting a benefit. 
they did get a benefit. That was really cool for me to see. And then this last number right here, slide uptick in, in swing speed of about a mile and a half for these golfers. I mean, that's amazing. I think there is an element to this. And again, we'll have a lot more studies coming, um, showing more of the detail here. But I think there's an element here of it being golf specific, mm -hmm. of the fact that you're actually holding the squeeze on a golf club, making golf swings, applying that grip strength to the swing and allowing that to help you create some better lag patterns and really maximize your swing speed. So we're really excited about the Squeeze product. You know, check it out. There's a whole bunch more information on our website. Check this product out, look at the protocols, get working on your grip strength today, and stay tuned for a whole lot more information about the Super Speed Squeeze.